when, when you think of a traditional belly dance, you have to be really careful because, um, like in my school, one of the reasons why I feel that I have the authority and the right to fuse is because I know what I come from. I'm second generation belly dancer. I know my history. I know my tribe. I know my decades of dance. And so I feel that I can educate my students. Here is a modern fusion of this, and this is where it came from. Moving forward is important in any art form. If you stay stuck and if you kind of put down and shun uh, movement and progress, you're going to be left behind. Because I'm not the type of artist that imitates. I do not, I like to have very fresh, kind of innovative ideas, which I get in a lot of trouble for. A lot of trouble. But what people forget is that I'm a belly dancer. And because of that, I can now move forward with it. You know, now you don't have to like what I'm doing. You don't, you might not prefer it. Maybe people prefer the old 40s style belly dancing. Well, that's fabulous. But in the 40s, they probably thought that was really modern. And they were like, well, if you're not barefoot in a carpet on the street corner, well, you're selling out. So now, how many years later, okay, now we're on a big theater stage. Well, you know what? We are so far from what traditional is. I mean, putting on a beaded costume, if you're wearing a beaded costume, you are not traditional. If you're in a nightclub, you are not traditional. I mean, which tradition are we talking about? Which era? Like Gawazi, are we talking about the Ottoman Empire? Are we talking about post? Are we talking about modern day? So you've got to be really careful, and I think that the ones that hang on to that, like, oh, that's not traditional, you've got to watch out for them.